we doing guys? Jimbo here, out here with First Class Fishing. Catching some bull reds on a nice sunny winter day. We're gonna do a little bit of talking about how we hook our bait when we're running it out for bull reds and it also works for summertime in the sharks. We've got a heavy mono sliding leader right here with the spider weight on it and a nice big whiting fresh from the ocean. What I like to do, this works for croaker, this works for whiting like this guy, it'll work for your big mullets, it'll work for any big bait that you're going to kayak out. If you're going to cast it, you probably don't want to use a fish quite this size, but if you're going to run a bait out there, might as well make it worth your paddle. So what I like to do with the fish this size is I'll take a nice big circle hook. We got a 14 on right here. I like to run it right through the eyes. Now if this fish was live, go right over one eye, bring it out the top on the other eye. If this guy was fresh out of the surf and he was alive, he could swim around like this for hours. And as long as you got a big enough weight to hang your line, he'll just hang out and do his thing. He'll give all the signals of a wounded prey that your predators like to see come out nice and juicy. Now, you might notice we've only hooked about 5% of our fish here. This can be a problem if you run them out live, you got a big shark or anything with a lot of teeth, they might bite somewhere back here. You're gonna end up with something like this. So an easy solution is we're gonna kind of bridle our bait. Some people use rubber bands. There's a lot of different solutions. The very simple way that I like to do it, a regular old zip tie, you can buy hundred of these at Home Depot for three or four bucks, something like that, in the electrical section. I like to take right around the skinny part at the tail here, wrap it around, go ahead and hook it up, get it nice and tight. The key to this bait bridling is you want it very, very tight. If you don't get it tight, when you pull the line, you're going to end up with a U-shaped fish and a bunch of slack in your leader. Get it as tight as you can. Take whatever snips or pliers you got handy. Trim off the excess. Now you have a nice, presentable, very big bait. We've still got our point exposed on our circle hook. If he was alive, he would stay alive for a, a couple hours out there, no problem. He can still breathe, he can still swim, he can do everything he wants to do. All while our spider weight stays hung in the sand, and he's free to do whatever he wants. If you do rig up a big bait like this, you definitely want a big weight. You don't want to try that with a little four ounce spider weight or anything, or you're gonna have a lot of action on your line and be jumping up and down out of your chair all day. Whereas big weight, big bait, big fish. Spin tips with Jimbo, first class fishing. Y'all have a good one.